Welcome to Advanced PubMed Searching Video 3. In this video, we are going to learn how to apply appropriate PubMed filters to access the most relevant literature efficiently. So if we go back to our search that we did in video 2, you will see we got down to 421 citations. Now, if you look at the titles of these citations, you will note that the second one is all about dogs. We don't really want information about dogs. So PubMed has a neat feature called filters. The filters are on the left side, right here, and there are a variety of them that come standard on your screen. Article types, text availability, PubMed commons, publication dates, and species are all standard. They will always show up. However, there are also additional filters, and we're going to talk about those in a minute. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the dogs. I don't want any of that information to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and click Species Humans. Now you'll notice that it now says filters are activated right here and it also has humans checked off here. If I wanted to I could uncheck this by just clicking on it again and it's taking it off. But I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. Now, the other thing that I want to be able to do is I want to make sure that everything is in English. I don't read any other languages, and if you do, that's great. You can always add those in. But I don't read any other. So I'm going to go here to Show Additional Filters and click and check Languages. Now, say you had something that you were very interested in that was gender-oriented. So something that would be unique like male breast cancer. In that case, you might use sex and then choose male in order to pull out those particular articles. In this case, it doesn't matter what sex it is for this search. There's also ages, which is another option that you can use, and ages allows you to select specific age groups. We're not going to look at that right at this instant either. So I'm going to tell this to show. Now you would think when I hit the show button, that it would run the search, but it doesn't. If you'll notice, we're still at 404 with just the filter activated humans. I have to physically come over here under languages and click English. If I wanted to add a language, I could go and scroll through many of the languages that also have publications in the PubMed database, but I just want to click English. Now, if you remember, we started out with 1,068 articles and we're already down to 218. There's one more filter that I want to look at. If you look up here under article types, the defaults are clinical trials and reviews. So first, let's go ahead and click review. When you click review, it's amazing. We went down strictly to 32 articles. Now, say your attending has said, I don't want you to have a review article. I want you to find a clinical trial. We can uncheck review and then click clinical trial and look right here we have 16 items you will see the filters activated are clinical trial humans and English I also mentioned the ages filter so let's take clinical trial off for a moment and go back down to show additional filters and click on ages you'll notice that it comes up with some default ages the one thing to remember about searching is that they consider a child birth to 18 years. Unfortunately, that does not necessarily limit you to only pediatric literature. Because clinical trials, you're considered a legal adult at 18, many of the times you look for research and include childbirth to 18 years, you will get adult research. That's something you just have to keep in mind. So let's click on Customize. So you'll see it has all of these different ages. So if you really wanted to find information on newborns, birth with one month, then you would use just that age group. We are going to use child 6 to 12 years old. So let's check that off to add that to our filter. When I check that off and click show, you'll notice now, just like with the languages, it shows up over here. One of the things to keep in mind with languages and any of the other filters is that within the filter you are oring terms together. So if you were to say choose infant to birth, preschool, and then 6 to 12, 
and you were to highlight all of those, you would get the combination of all of those articles. Basically, it's using the Boolean OR. However, when you go in between the different filters, it's always using AND. In other words, everything will have to have child 6 to 12, English, humans, and anything else that I might pick. So we're going to hit child 6 to 12. And you'll see that right away we pull up only 10 citations. And so if we wanted to limit, that's why we would do it. You also notice that most of them are case reports because it is unusual for this to appear in a child. If I wanted to only find a clinical trial, we can click clinical trial and it would tell me that this is the only clinical trial involving 6 to 12 years old children that has anything to do with antibacterial agents and cholecystitis. And this ends video 3.